Hey everyone, it's Sam here. So today I'm going to be showing you a fun card using the new Showstoppers 3. This is the double concertina gatefold die set. I'm going to be using it along with the wood grain embossing folder, the bold sentiment set, the dress him up and hobbies galore stamp and die sets, the new paper pad, and then this stamp set, which has just got all of your family names on it. So hopefully there's something there for everyone. So in the die set, you have your main plate. So in all of the showstopper sets, you get your main plate. OK, you want to pass that one through twice. So it would give you this one here. OK, and I've got my other one. I've already stuck the paper on that one. You then can cut your mat layer. I've just cut this one. It's five and three quarters squared. I, there's not a die for this because the size of those dies are big and it really does bump up the price. So instead, what I've done is I put in the option that if you add a score line through the middle of this, you have a mat and layer just here, OK, which will fit on one half of this and it will allow you to create a different look again. So I've got this card idea. So when you take it out, you have this concertina style okay and then again you can see that sentiment to a great guy have a fab day and it's got some more of the icons there so that one is either already on the channel um or it's it will be on soon but i just wanted to show you that way and then i'm going to show you this way so you don't need those today like i said just cut yourself a piece of five and three quarters squared and um, stick that down then you get this die here you want to pass that through twice and it will give you your two strips and again, you can see how I've decorated them. So you've also got your mats and layers. So you just want to cut them out and decorate however you want. So you can see the images there. And I've already added some glaze to some of them. I think they look really cool. And I've just kept the colours that I've used to match the papers. So I've got my oh, other piece here. So I'm going to stick that one down over the top. Now, on one of these, you want to cut this tab off because you only need it on the one. So I'm going to take this one here and really neatly. In fact, I'm going to use my trimmer. And then you're going to stick this one under that one like so. So I'm going to take my glue and just line that up. Just pinch that together in the middle. And this is all going to fold inside like so. So whilst that's drying, I've then cut all of these mats and layers. So a piece of five and three quarters squared, then five and a half squared, and then this is five and a quarter squared. And you can see I've embossed the chevron print onto that one. And then I've stamped the happy birthday from that set. And then some more of the icons there with the stars. And that's going to sit nicely on top. So I'll get all that stuck down. I think with this one as well, I'm going to try some ideas where I use this as a window and have some of my little fun animals, all the different like safari animals and the jungle animals and like the Santa and Rudolph. You could have maybe do this as a winter scene. I think it would work really well. So you don't always have to add this piece if you don't want to. OK, so now onto these, you want to make sure that you've got you start with a mountain fold, mountain fold valley fold in the middle and then finish with two mountain folds so you should have that shape okay decide what you want to be on the top and the bottom and then feed this through so it's like that again feed that one through like so okay okay so actually i'm going to take one out i think it's easier to do it one by one so it's kind of up to you where you want to stick these but i'm going to stick add my glue here and then stick them about an inch from the score line here so once you've done this a few times you'll kind of get used to where you know positioning it but I think an inch means you can see all of the images quite nicely there so I'm just gonna take my glue again add a little along the tab there and what you want to make sure is that when you lie if you lie it flat you want to make sure you've got a gap, a equal gap across along the top there and the bottom. OK, so I'm just going to pull this down, fold it under. And it's about an inch from that score line there. But you want to make sure it's straight. I'm just going to move that a little bit. There we go. So whilst that one is drying, I'm going to stick this one down at the same time. So again, just my glue along and then I'm just going to line it up with this one. 
Again, just making sure that you get it nice and straight and an equal little gap along the top and the bottom there. Now, if you bring this one up and this one up and fold the card over. So I've folded this piece in half. And now you can add your glue along the top. so and then close the card and just give that a minute to dry okay so once you're happy that's all secure you can open it up and you get your concertina pop out there i think it looks really fun and then i've just got my sentiment here to go inside you could cut another piece of white card to go there i'm going to leave that blank just to show off the papers but you could cut another piece maybe to write your message or Cut a piece of five and three quarters square to go on the back and have that as your area. But this one here is on a piece of three and a quarter by um, about three and a half to a great brother. And again, I've used some of the stars there. Could always have maybe a photo of them on the other side. I think that could look quite cool. I love having photos of family members on cards. I think it really is a nice way to personalise them. So I'm just going to sit that one. In the middle there so yeah you can imagine photos maybe you know of them it could be their eighth birthday and you have one picture of them for each year you could have sentiments in there as i showed you on the other one you can have words going right across but you have to bear in mind you've obviously got that bar through the middle there that can get in the way you could maybe have a word it could say goal possibly and you could have all the footballs from the set so um, i might actually even do that in a card i think that would look quite good so that's the finished card so again you see the front there that will all fit into a six by six envelope or pop it into one of my box envelopes there is some bulk with these i know postal services are different around the world so that might be a bit too bulky for some of you so you might want to pop it in a box envelope but with a lot of these kind of showstopper cards um i know not for everyone but i tend to hand deliver these ones so i don't have to worry about postage but i know that's not the case for everybody but i hope this has given you some inspiration and you like this style card all of the product is available on the craft stash website just here if you're not subscribed just click here and for all of the other showstopper cards you can check out the playlist here see you all again soon bye